Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered. I am pretty sure this is the eighth level, uh, the cistern it is called. Uh, in between episodes, previous episode, I don't remember what happened. I think I accidentally, I wanted at the end of the episode or at nearing the end, I wanted to save. So I went here, I went there, and I'm pretty sure I pressed uh, right one too many times. So I actually exited to the title. It was not saved. Or the other thing that could have happened, I'm not 100% sure, but I know that something went wrong. What already happened quite a lot is I wanted to save, and if you go into this menu, it's super annoying. It defaults to the load menu. Uh, well, saving is something you use much more often than loading again, because if you die, you automatically get to the loading screen. So hardly any time you go manually to, uh, yeah, sometimes you do, but not that often, you go to manually to the load game compared to the save game uh, uh, menu, which you use in a hard game like this much more often. So it does happen when you're a little bit absent-minded that you uh, want to save uh, good progress and then uh, you open up the menu, you click the button and then you're loading a previous save and uh, so all your progress is gone. You didn't save it, you loaded uh, another uh, point, an earlier point in the, of the game and that is super annoying. That happened, so in between episodes uh, that or I press the exit screen, I don't remember anymore. Anywho, in between episodes, I uh, went back to approximately, I hope that I didn't miss anything because <coughs> um, I do think I overwrote the save and I overwrote it. Now, what did I do? Or maybe that was it. There was also, there were a lot of, the last uh, episode and the one before that, it was really negative vibes, all things going wrong. I also made a save uh, underwater. I still had half oxygen uh, supply, like so, that, that blue uh, bar at the top left. It was still half full and I had to get out of the water and I thought, okay, if I screw it up, let's now save. So I did, and then upon reloading that one, Lara immediately drowned. Um, somehow the, the oxygen bar upon reloading, it, it was uh, fully depleted. So that was, and I overwrote that uh, of my, uh, my last save file with that useless save file where I immediately died. So I had to go back to the before last save uh, game, which really was quite far back. So. Um, these are all things that, that happened, like that, uh, that drowning save file, or I uh, loaded the game instead of saving, or I pressed the exit menu instead of saving, all kinds of uh, screw-ups. I don't exactly remember what happened at the ending of the previous episode, you could look it up of course. Uh, but yeah, I did um, miss quite some progress, and in between episodes, I hope I didn't miss anything, but I uh, got back to where we should have been. Um, and now let's continue. I think we have two keys. Yes, we have a silver key and we have a rusty key. Let's first do the rusty key. The other silver key is, I'm pretty sure for the, uh, the second gate over there. And that is probably the ending of the level. But first let's do this um, rusty key. Oh, not sure why I held the jump button. <coughs> ah, actually, oh yeah, shit, this is... All right, I am not going to save in the water because that is exactly where I went wrong. This is where that... Um, where I made that safe with the um, drowning underwater.
All right, here we go. Let's be careful not to get into the spikes. All right, is that where we came from? I don't even remember. No. Very nice. Opening up the door so we can get some oxygen here. Very nice. So we have a gold key. And let's see if there's anything else here. Shit. Flipping crocodiles. Are you kidding me? Oh. Is he following me? That would be good. Yes, he is. Nice. Because then I can shoot him from the surface. Where is he? Mother sucker. Where are you? Oh, fuck me, man. Such an idiot. Alright, he still didn't get me. Alright, that worked. Alright, but what is the use of this room? Is this where we... Yeah, this is where we entered. Wouldn't surprise me... Ah, there's nothing here, right? Quite confident we explored it fully, but somehow I have the feeling that I could be overlooking something here. It's a little bit confusing this layout. So that is where we came from. So this is actually just nothing, and there is also. other area to go so yeah let's just assume we're good here so now we also have a gold key and I'm pretty sure I checked out the area quite thoroughly at least I hope we will soon know let's see how far we are Two out of three secrets, 21 out of 28 pickups. So there are a lot more pickups still in the game. All right. It could be that there are still some gates over here locked. I doubt it. Let's double check.
No, I don't really see any. That's where we uh, started the level from that passage over there. Those two doors are the rusty keys. That just is a whole area and passageways and hallways behind it to uh, move the water level. Yeah, let's assume we went through it thoroughly enough. And if not, I have to backtrack and try to mop up anything I missed. So it is a bigger level still, with the door. And some nondescript Is that a door to the left? Is that a secret passage? Nah, I don't think so. Just a texture that looks a little bit mismatched. <coughs> Nothing here. All right, we can get up over there. And they did such a good job recreating this. It's exactly, there's, I don't see any better way how they could have improved the, the <coughs> graphics without overdoing it, so to say. It's amazingly well done. Totally true to it. Same engine, exact same mechanics. It's amazingly <coughs> well done. They did add some light sources, like holes in the ceilings. Because in the original game, yeah, the light just came from uh, nowhere. Ah, there we have the gold key. So, if that means the ending of the level, then I have quite a... <coughs> oh, shit! <coughs> Fuck me. I lost some uh, health of, uh, because of that. <coughs> God damn it. God damn it, Lara. <coughs> Sorry, dude. Didn't want to do that, but it's fight or die. God damn it! I'm pretty sure I'm. Yeah, no, not pretty sure. I'm sure I missed a secret area and a lot of pickups. Where the hell was that? Ah, maybe. I don't know, maybe this is not the end. I do hear some animals, so... Ah, good thing I climbed up on there. Where is the animal? There it is. Where's the other one? God damn it. We have to fight the other one, mano a mano.
Where are you? Right, are these trap doors? Holy shit, I got stuck against the wall. All right, new pretty big area, so not the ending of the level. What do we see? We see a floor. I see a lever at the back, maybe a movable block. For the rest, pretty nondescript room. Gonna run through it either way pretty thoroughly. Sorry, just messing about a bit. Um, yes, can we get up there? I don't think we can. It's too high. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I was already thinking like, isn't there danger here? But there is. So maybe that could mean, here we go. Items. It's a good thing I accidentally stepped onto it. Otherwise, I would have missed the item. It's actually amazing that I didn't step on one earlier. there right nope god damn it still accidentally <coughs> jumping in all right i need to make sure there are no others because that could very well be that there is a secret area below ground accessible via one of those fake floors We have a gate to the right with another, whatever it is, a lion or a dog. Cannot really shoot it through the um, bars, through the <coughs> barred window. Right, we cannot move this block apparently. <coughs> Not sure what this whole protrusion is all about. Holy oh, shit. Not accidentally stepping into <coughs> Yes, very nice. Right, where are they? I must not accidentally... ...fall off, because... Guys are pretty resilient, to be quite honest. But that worked. 
pretty okay for my doing. And now let's get that secret area. And I think seven or six more items. Six more items. And that's quite a lot. All right, no breakable floors. Or is this one? Nope. Why doesn't she do... Ah, that's my mistake. I wanted to say a backflip. What? Ah, fuck me. It's so annoying. I want to do a backflip and then... So finicky. Th that you only need to do half a millimeter, not drop that down. And she does a side flip instead of a backflip. At least with my controller. Right, honestly, I have no clue what now happens. Yeah, that just closed that door. What does that do? Um, sorry. What did that do? I mean, I cannot get up there, that's too high. Why would there be a whole separate lever just to close a door from a pretty nondescript room? Ah, I see you. I see a little ring over there. Here we go. <laughs> We could use this to get up higher. Either over here we can put it and then can we jump up? Maybe. But also in that little room here, probably that could be a secret area. I have to say, I don't really like this pushing. I, I, actually, I do. But it's also like now, when you really have to go quite a distance, it's super slow. But yeah, that does, like so many other things in this game, it does give it, it, ha it has consequences, so to say. And I do like that a lot in this game. So if you make wrong moves, you just have to pay for it with time. Holy shit. Is there water in there? Yes. All right, we will see later where that goes. Let's first quickly see if there is a secret area. Over there. They should just about fit. So far, so good. Any secret areas? 
or pickups. Nice uh, volumetric fog a little bit there or lighting. And again, amazingly well done. Totally the same vibe. Just a little bit more beautiful or actually a lot more beautiful. Right, I pressed the wrong button there. All right, we see one item, that's good. We have that uh, big drop down. Also very annoying, these accidental back jumps, jumps, back steps. I didn't want to do it, but it's just super finicky, my controller. All right, at least we have three items found. So that could mean, third. and then we have still three items left. A secret area with two items is not uncommon, so if it only would have been two items left. Then I would be in a pretty com I would be pretty comfortable with okay, then we just find that one secret room. And then we're good. But now we have three items still missing. And up till now, of course. I'm not a veteran in this game, but I didn't see too many um, secret areas with, oh, fucking Lara, I'm literally pressing walk and it registered too late. Um, I didn't see too many secret areas with three items. A couple for sure had, like there was like this in the Lost Valley, in the on top of the roof, there were like, I think multiple items on top of a roof somewhere in the jungle. But yeah, it is not super common. So it could very well be that we still have to find a missing secret area with two items in it and that I just have I overlooked somewhere a, a general pickup ah <laughs> uh, fuck me uh, do we want to continue? no All right, so yeah, I did miss something somewhere and now it's all about backtracking and trying not to be stupid. God damn it. All right, this could take a while. Because as far as I find, I was pretty thorough. I'm still a little bit surprised with this lever over here. We now can close it and then we can get to the other side <coughs> through here, but I really doubt it did anything more than only closing that door. But normally, yeah. It's not like for each door always a, se a second lever just to open open it up or close it from the inside of a little room. 
often it just remains open. You open it with a lever outside, you go into the room, the door remains open, and then you get out of the room. So I do find it a little bit suspicious that that lever is there. But yeah, it's not like it opened up anything here. Besides closing that door, right? Fuck me, three items plus a secret room. God darn it, I really had the feeling I was quite thorough. Yeah, this is such a maze-like level to really check for um, Missed items. This is going to re be really, really annoying. There was an item over here, but yeah, that's already in the safe game, right? Because this was a secret area. Come on, Lara. Do your thing. Then we have that passage over there. God damn it. Only thing I really hope is that the secret area and this is where we started we fell from over there we cannot get back up um, it's pretty funny Lara's teeth from behind I really hope that the secret area that I missed, that it contains three items, that would be amazing. Alright, so how am I going to go through here in a structural manner? We came from that yeah, big uh, exit over there, so that yeah, I think we pretty much checked it out. Although I'm still a little bit confused by those two levers. Why are there two lepers out there? Yeah, I'm going to double check that. Or shan't I? God damn it, man. I don't have any 
keys anymore, so no doors to be opened. I do find this a little bit of a suspicious area because there's nothing here. Why is this here? I'm not sure whether there was something located on this plateau, but I don't think so. so that is a little bit suspicious. It looks a little bit like a staircase towards something, maybe a secret door over there, but no, it seems like a regular texture. God damn it. been through here now so many times. Also with all that loading and saving uh, mishaps that I had. Let's see if there are any levers higher up that I didn't consider yet that I can now reach because the water is higher. area that I'm now going to I really have been there a lot already just seeing if anything stands out more with the old graphics not really Already check it out, I'm double checking. Nothing here in the blind corners. Nope. God damn it, this is going to take some time, I'm sure. Um then over there we have the I'm pretty sure that is the water level switch that raises and lowers the water. do find these, I'm not sure whether I, yeah there was I think a secret area over there that I already checked out, but can I get on that ledge over there, yeah to be honest, I don't even need to, I can just get up over here and then see if there's anything on there and i already did that i'm pretty damn certain and there was nothing there it's a weird texture over there i find you have ground texture and then you have a stone texture here but probably nothing nope Anything up there, I cannot see it. I think there was, but I already picked it up. 
Fuck me, this is all stuff that I already spent a lot of time in. Right, can we make that jump? I think we probably can. Start all the way at the beginning. I think there are 32 safe slots. So we already used quite a bit yeah there were some many packs here i'm pretty sure but i already picked them up nothing over there Then there was like this, um, I don't know if it was a secret area, but there was something here. But yeah, I really checked it out already. If you go to the left here, start <coughs> slow walking. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's because if you don't, you will immediately drop off the ledge here. That's annoying. Um, if you just continue running immediately. me this is what makes this game super fun and challenging but also so time consuming all right there was something here before but i already picked that up and then we can jump down and actually lose some health jumping down there i tried to at that last slide to see if there was anything i could cling on to because you slide them down and then is there something to the left I don't think there is. Or is there? It's really hard to see. All right, let's try that one more time. down here and then no, there's nothing there right I am going to say nothing there and I'm also going to go through here because otherwise you lose health 
It's a pretty big jump down from those slides. All right, so this room basically clear. Yeah, I can try and go further. Jump into the water and check it out, everything. But the thing is, I'm really, yeah, I must have overlooked something somewhere, but I'm really quite confident. I went through there already super thorough. So, let's just quickly check out that second lever. I still think. <coughs> that it's probably nothing, but like for such a basic little room. that over there uh, I wanted to say for such a basic little room to have two levers I just find that quite suspicious problem is I want to now move that block over to this room then climb onto that ledge ah that's not even needed I'm such an idiot <coughs> Lara, what are you doing? <coughs> ah, no. I thought I was onto something, but this is just... I've already been here. I'm an idiot. This is going to be a tricky one, I think. <coughs> Just because of, oh, fucking Lara. Trying to do a roll and a safety grab and she totally does not what I planned for. Um, what was I saying? But this is going to be mucho tricky. Still find this a really big room. Not much happening in it. A little bit. Also these weird ramps to the sides. Can't we use the, the block for something else? No, not really, right? Because we already can get up there through the little side room or back room. Yeah, I don't see any purpose for that block otherwise. I do find it weird that this lever is now still in the down position. I think it used to be in the up position when the door is closed. Then we put it down, door went open, then we closed the door 
from the other lever and then this lever doesn't automatically when it the door closes it this one doesn't automate when you close it from the with the other lever this lever doesn't automatically get to its uh, top position doesn't automatically return to its top position uh, anywho what can I say I can only say that I still find it a little bit um, suspicious, this lever here. Anything behind the door? No. Nothing. Really not much here. That looks like something interactable. Is this a breakable floor? Nope. Oh shit, almost went into the pit. Yeah, nothing here. God damn it. behind these doors uh, I cannot interact with them anyways anymore fuck me all right let's uh, check that side room that we were in Opened up last. The rusty key. I think it was this one, I'm not sure. And keep our eyes open. Yeah, but that was just that area that we already explored. start of this level uh, of this episode nothing here right there now we are back out Uh, the 
it's just a flower vase. Nothing there. Let's get to the other side room. Right, this is where we initially found that annoying dude. Well, not found, he started shooting in this room. But for the rest, there were some items on the ledge over there, but yeah, we picked them up. God damn it, I'm really bummed out here. Because I, for my feeling, went through it super thoroughly. So what do you want me to do? Nothing here. There was like a room. Uh, at the back, but nothing special there. Just some items that we already picked up. There were some crocodiles. Here, yeah, there were just some... items here
we have to be careful for a couple of spikes here For the rest, there really doesn't seem to be anything here. God damn it. And now we have the higher water level. which changes the environment of course a bit like in this room I cannot do anything with the I cannot get up there and also on the other side but I'm pretty sure I was quite thorough here already get up there if the water level is lower uh, maybe it wouldn't surprise me if there's something there maybe because now in this room I cannot get out of the water the um, It's the um, sides are too high. The the water edges. Yeah, I've been also over here already so many times now. There were some items I think over here that you could pick up that you previously could not reach. But with the higher water level, higher water level you could. That switch over there just opens up, I think that door over there, nothing special. Yeah, so let's just keep that one open. For the rest, nothing much in this room to see. And then we can either go through that one or we can just take a shortcut over here because the just gets uh, to the same central area that is just this little corridor so here we are again in that same room is there any lever over here oh fucking Lara what the fuck this fucking shit, I'm not even making it now. Fucking idiot. Ooh, that was a close one. Um, yeah, so that area is pretty much explored. Except for that... Um, last room where we have to have lower water level to be able to explore it 
explore it fully. So that was those both rooms we checked out. So we checked out the starting area. We checked out those rooms at the exit area. And I'm pretty sure we also <coughs> checked out the room over here. Even in this episode, I think. Yeah, so we went through there. Yeah, we already checked it out. The only thing that we didn't double check was getting in the water, seeing where it ends up. Maybe some lever that I overlooked. This area I also already did like a gazillion times. Pretty damn positive that there's nothing here. There used to be a key, one of the, I think the rusty key or the silver key. Used to be um, over here on this little pathway. Very hard to see. With the um, remastered graphics, it really blended in into the background. But That almost looks like, I find that a weird texture, that square on top of there. But yeah, I cannot really interact with it from here. Uh, anyways, that key, what did I say? That blended into the background with the, uh, the modern graphics, the remastered ones. It's much more visible if you switch to the uh, classical graphics. Yeah, so now we went up there and we came down here. God damn it. Another anti Climax. Ah, what? No, did I already get up there? 
I think I probably did. Let's do it again. Yeah, there's nothing there. But you never know. Let's check it out. Yeah, I already checked this out. I'm pretty thorough, so that's really what annoys me. It's one of my few good attributes. I can be really... Um, black and white, like... Really don't progress until you really think that you have seen all nooks and crannies. Don't take any shortcuts. But this game always one-ups me. It always does. And then you look it up, but I don't want to look it up because it feels so much like the Cheesing your way through, cheaping out. Well, of course, it's it's not necessarily the case because sometimes these secrets are so obscure. Cannot interact with it. So yeah, what do you do? I don't even remember where was the um, I think it was over there. No. The water uh, switch. It. Fuck me. Here, because then we can check out this room one more time for the gazillionth time. So, really not much here. This one, we cannot backtrack up there, already tried it. God damn it man, this is so frustrating.
water switch. God damn it. It was not the room up there. Because it was closer to the water. This one. Fuck me, man. This is so time consuming. That water switch. <laughs> and these developers, they really know how to throw players. I do have respect for them. Ah, it was here. Ah, so the water was indeed here, but it's actually quite a bit lower. I was, I thought it was higher water level. So if that would be the case, then the room would have had to be lower. So this changes the water level. Then the question was, how do we get to that room? Or oh, whatever, let's just go through here. Maybe yeah, the water level here is not even changing. be so easy to just overlook one little lever in a very obscure place. so cool that the, the corpses are persistent in this game. It's a huge help also to keep track of where you already were earlier. Plus it's so much more immersive. That's also one of the things that I found amazing when playing Oblivion for the first time where you also in the dungeons, the rats, etc. They were all persistent corpses. I really, um, people really bitch on the engine a lot, but the Skyrim and Oblivion engine, that's cry en cryo engine or something. Wait, let me check that. I've wasted so much, uh, not wasted, spent so much time modding that. Papyrus engine? No, Papyrus was the, the, the language, I think. The creation engine. 
or the game Brio engine. Um, but yeah, I really like the engine, the, the Skyrim one. Somehow, all right. So now we are in a room where we now cannot reach the. Uh, surfs anymore or those uh, higher up platforms because the water is lower but here now oh shit no we need to access this room from a totally different area man oh man oh man this is annoying Maybe, yeah, I read. No, I'm not gonna do it. I really want to find it myself. It feels too much like cheating otherwise. Now, getting. We need to get to over there, and that is really, really annoying because that means again. Ah, check out the crocodile in the wall ah, I haven't been yet over here with lower water level yeah there's also not that much to do unless ah yes Yeah, what do I want to do here? Not much to do or to see. Uh, but what was I saying? Maybe about creation engine. Yeah, I find that it had persistent uh, corpses as well. which at the time was pretty amazing. This room I never entered yet when it was dry, but yeah, there's nothing here, at least not as far as I see. And then we need to get to that room over there. And that's super annoying. Ah, that's what I was saying. Because that means a hell of a lot of, um, Shimmying. <coughs> and shimmying <coughs> along a ledge is pretty damn slow. I think this game it was uh, built by um, Idols Interactive. They are British guys, so smart British guys. They are just much smarter than I am, and they know ways how to troll players like master level. In regards to uh, secret areas and pickups, they are just very good at it. No accidental back jump.
even the color of the red eye of uh, the red 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 eyes is really maintained super well a little bit bigger teeth at least i oh, know they're not bigger they're just more 3d but it's all done so well um, anywho i'm procrastinating It's so easy to screw it up. <gasps> oh my god, almost screwed it up. Just keeping the classical <laughs> graphics. Like, what's up with that? Looks a bit suspicious, that texture. Maybe it's just the lighting. I still have a little bit of a weird feeling about that um, About that door, uh, after the gold key, the last room that we were um, of the level, just before the exit. That little room with two levers. Pretty suspicious. Uh, one to open the door and one other separate level to close the door. With seemingly, uh, yeah, not really much purpose. There are so many doors in it. Mostly all doors only have one lever. So if you find a door with two levers, it's just a little bit suspicious if you ask me. Yeah. I interacted with it and really didn't find anything. This is what makes this level hard to run through and uh, quickly just check if you missed anything because there are many slow areas in this level and with slow areas I mean shimmying, swimming, stuff like that. Almost in the spikes. All right, and now we are getting here. This is the room where we couldn't get out of the water if the water level was higher because the, the edges 
uh, or yeah, the edges, they were over there, but where the, where the green stops, it was just too high to get out. But now without water, we can actually um, get up. But again, the thing is, I really went through here quite thoroughly already. So yeah. Not sure. We can maybe. Jump over there. Pretty sure I would have already done that. Yeah. <coughs> already was there earlier would like to check out that that area over there but we can probably get there nope Lara what the hell God, this is annoying. Yeah, this. The only thing I was doubting was was there maybe something to the right there, but yeah, maybe that nook and cranny over there. I think I already. went to that little um, gap to the right here but not the one to the far right maybe this one just <coughs> opened up some gate or something <coughs> the script yeah that is just the uh, there was a key there I'm not going to look it up, but I am going to check on the internet whether this is again one of those levels where something is bugged, because I do understand that this game, or not understand, I actually experienced it, that this game does have some uh, issues sometimes with collectibles. But that little area over there, I'm not sure I checked it out. I think I'm pretty sure I did. So that means we need to get up on that ledge down below. And is that possible? It's like so. And then why doesn't that work? It's so annoying. Um, let's just load up this one like so yeah i already was here so unless i'm really missing something Yeah, I basically checked out everything pretty damn thoroughly and um, I will only do a quick check on the internet whether There may be something bugged in this level. I doubt it actually, because I think it's mainly in Atlantis 
And there's apparently a 51st, the last, um, or not the last, but one of the 51 collectibles is placed outside the game area. So you cannot get them all, which is really annoying if you're going for an achievement or if you're a comp completionist like myself. I also had one um, in, I forgot what the name was, but some kind of a palace, Midas Palace, I think, where uh, it was unreachable, unreachable, a collectible. So I'm not sure whether that are the only two places with issues. I do read also that there was supposed to be a patch in the works, but I'm not sure whether it has been uh, distributed already. Um, but yeah, b I am not going to look up where the secret room is, but I am now going to see uh, one moment to if there is a bug here. So we do. Uh, the cistern and then Stella is a very good website for uh, Stella Tomb Raider very good for walkthroughs all right kills 34 let's see how many kills do we have uh, one moment yes we, we have it items 28 including five keys all right save crystals five secrets three the regular pickups here will include the magnums and shotgun if you didn't get them earlier all right so i, I totally didn't get any magnums or shotgun here so i'm not sure whether if you already have them because i already have them whether then they will spawn again i i doubt it actually Yeah, it doesn't say anything about um, here. There's one secret. Um, no, I already. I'm now already another secret and another secret. No, I'm not looking where. Um, It was really hard, but because it was in a sentence in a forum post, so it, it really could give clues if I looked at the the context of uh, of the word secret. I was only looking whether there was any that like red fonts, like okay, this one is bugged or anything. But no, it just said three secrets, so it is um, findable. Or it should work, and I just need to do a better job. So I will be doing that uh, aimless running around in between episodes. Once I do find it, I will uh, include it immediately in the next episode. And Then we will continue with the level uh, there hereafter, after the cistern. Guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. And for the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming, Fletcher.